A big day for education in Chattanooga. This morning, the U.S. Education Secretary's Chief Lieutenants visited schools and held forums. Good evening. Thanks for watching. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. They wanted to see what local programs are working and what other school districts around the country should try. One of those visits was made by Arnie Duncan's Deputy Assistant Education Secretary for Policy and Early Learning this morning. Libby Doggett went to Chattanooga's Creative Discovery Museum to see how the learning process is emphasized through hands-on instruction. She says most people don't realize how much of an impact hands-on education can have in a museum concept of teaching. So how does that concept work? And if it is working, how well is it working? Calvin Sneed went to one school in Chattanooga that the Deputy Assistant Education Secretary visited to see where the museum concept seems to be well received. Calvin. Latricia, Josh Hamilton County has 13 different magnet schools that offer families education programs where the curriculum is built around a focused theme. At least one of those schools has a focus that is so unique it merited a visit from the U.S. Deputy, Deputy Education Secretary. We went to Normal Park today to see what all the excitement is about. Hey Sophie, come see me sweetheart. To bring the museum idea into a school where children are studying in depth uh, for a period of time one subject and looking at all aspects of it and then being able to show it off to the community and to their parents is pretty exciting. For the past 13 years, kids at the Normal Park Museum Magnet School have been taking the word museum to a different level in the learning process. Uh, we all know that kids need to know more and that we need to challenge children more, and I saw that. These are future artists and writers. They're also future statisticians and analytical technicians. Every concept you'd find in a museum, these kids are getting hands-on treatment learning about. When students are out in the community and they're getting their hands dirty and they're learning in real and authentic ways, then true learning takes place. And um, students who love to learn by doing learn more that way. But these special kinds of learning programs cost money. And in a time when states would like to cut the funding for preschool education, Deputy Secretary Doggett says the current administration wants to increase the federal government's contribution to that. 35 states can now apply for funding from a $250 million grant for early education. Tennessee is one of those. The governor will have to apply for that money, and then 95% of that money uh, will be funneled to local communities that want to do more around early learning. She says she was definitely impressed with the museum concept of teaching at Normal Park and will be taking that idea with her as she travels around the country. Well, I've been to some wonderful schools around the country, but it was one of the best I've seen ever. Meanwhile, Chattanooga and Hamilton County have a voice in the nation's capital. For the next year, Normal Park Principal Jill Levine is a Principal Ambassador Fellow at the U.S. Department of Education, counseling the people who set the country's policy on learning. Latricia? All right, Calvin, thank you. Right now, you are taking a live look at the Chambliss Center. You can see children waiting for Secretary Arne Duncan, who should be arriving anytime. News Channel 9's Betsy Golden is at the event right now. We'll check in with her a little later in the show.